Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Viking Sports and Promotions Limited. Um, sorry we had a t couple of technical issues there when we were speaking to Kim, so we'll get her back in shortly. Um, so obviously just the purpose of today is to, to get to know her a bit more. Obviously we're supporting her at the moment um, as much as we can within Viking Sports and Promotions. Um, we are obviously very lucky to, to have her and, and be able to support her and she's got a fantastic team around her and obviously managed by Katie Taylor herself, which is a, a fantastic um, asset to have um, within her team. So we'll get her back in. Um, of course, you have to start again, but we'll we'll get into the question to find out a bit more. I don't know uh, what happened. just went off. <laughs> I was talking away, it just went. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there. So <laughs> yeah, just it's obviously a technical issue, and I'm 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 a technophobe, so I don't I don't know what's gone on. It's always got to be me. It's always something happens to me with something. <laughs> Always, you know, like, for like, so leave it, be grand anyway. We'll get on with it. But yeah. um, I'm saying, um, I, I, about uh, six years ago, my mother passed away. So when I died, I was 10. So it was, I was kind of, when I was 10, I had not, I was, I was sitting at home, nothing to do. Mm. You know, you'd be out playing and do, doing other things. And I just wasn't like that, obviously, after losing. I was very close to my mother, you know, we were yeah. best friends and, there was never any problems, and I think when she passed away, then I was a bit lonely because I'm 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 an only child. I don't have any brothers or sisters or anything like that. So um, I, I that was a reason as well why I joined up and to meet new people in the game. And I mean, I know so many people in it now, you know. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I'm lucky to be even doing it with a disease that it's, it's life threatening and yeah, have problems along the way. There's never going to be no problems with it, you know. You know so. There's always hospital stays, and you're always missing out on things. Then the other people will be down. Mm. You know, you're, miss you're missing out on training sometimes, and then you could have a fight coming up or something. You have to cancel that because you could end up in hospital. You could then, you know. So never really, as much as I love planning things, you can never really put. You can you can't go too far ahead with things. Yeah. In a way, you know, so it's it's kind of it's limited. At yeah. the same time, you can do certain things, but you can't do other things. Yeah. But I think of it as I'm just like everyone else. Like I'm just like yes. you, ever. You know, I just like to think of it like that. Yeah, and that's and that's the best attitude to have because a lot of these boxers, obviously, they go into camp, they're ready to fight, and then something happens. So, you know, it's the same same sort of attitude. Obviously, it's it's completely different end of the scale. But obviously, you know, with any camp, there's obviously risk that something's going to happen. You know, a fight's got to be pulled out. So. So, yeah, but obviously, you know, full up like, respect for, for what you're doing. And obviously, you know, you're just one of us. And that's that's the best way to look at it. I, tr I try my best. I just, I like, if I just do the things right, I train right. And I do what I'm supposed to do treatment-wise, this, that, the other, take it off. I, I can do, I can just be like you then. Or, you know, I can be like anyone else of, of all the other fighters out there. I can do it. Yeah. They don't look at me. It's because you never, like... If you're fighting against someone, they're sometimes they're not going to be told that like you have a disease or illness. they're just going yeah. to keep entering, do what they have to do and get back out. If they win, they if they win or they lose, it doesn't matter. They just want to get in and do yeah. it. It's not going to make a difference. <coughs> you know, it's not going to. It's really not going to make a difference because I see it. it there's there's people like there's I know a few a few people who have like spinal spinal problems and you know the like scoliosis things like that. Yeah. And that can affect them too, but they still get in and do it. And I, I know it's 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 a it's a painful thing for people to be doing it, and especially for me too. Like yeah. breathing, biggest problems for me. So when I'm in the gym, I have to try to control my breathing, and it's a very hard thing to do when yeah. you're constantly on pads, you're doing whatever, you're trying to control your breathing. It's not easier. If you're kind of multitasking. Mm. Some people can multitask. I'm just not one of those. I can just <laughs> do. That's just it. Like I honestly couldn't, but I try my best, and I just try to. To just to get where I need where I want to be and where I need to be. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, and obviously, um, you know, very fortunate to obviously have uh, Katie Taylor um, supporting you as well. So, so how did that that come about? So last year, um, I don't know if I make it um, make a wish. Did you ever hear of it? Yeah, yeah. And I just um, I know a few people who are after getting it that had CF as well, and they said if you can do it go for it just just try it and if it doesn't happen if it doesn't happen if it does it does so i said okay and I, I applied first got the forms whatever and 
they got back to me and I was there like I was like, I'm only doing this kind of like for the laugh and see if they yeah. if they it did. So <clears throat> excuse me, they said to me, um, what like if you get this wish, what what would you want to do? And I was kinda of thinking I was kind of, but the minute I, I put my head to it, I went Katie Taylor all the way. Yeah. So they gave me a list but there were six boxes and they said to me, write out what you'd like to do or what you know, you wanna see your fight or you want to train or type down all that. And they said, look, I think to go to the fight would be the best for you. You'd see mm. it. And they maybe hope to meet her. I said, okay, that was fine. Um, and they got back to me and said, for grant, your, or your wish has been granted. I said, oh, I love that. Was, that was the best feeling. So um, the, second, the second of November last year, they flew us over the, thir the Thursday just before. So it was Saturday night, the fight. We had a whole weekend there and we were in the ringside. And yeah. If that fight, plenty of them, but like I was never at these big, massive Manchester arena. I was never yeah. at like that. So it was a real new experience to me. And to be in the ringside, you hear every punch that yeah. a box. You hear every, <laughs> it just, you see it all. Um, and it was, it was top class. And after the fight, the, the Make-A-Wish guard said to us, they said, make sure you, they, you get the flag seen. They have a Make-A-Wish flag. It never really gets seen if people bring us places. So I said, if you can get a scene, do. So my father was there waving it, you know, and she seen us from the rink, Sky Sports were interviewing her. Straight after her manager said, there, there's the, the girl over there, go over there. So she got everyone out of the way, she came straight over to me. Yeah. There was people pushing down and shoving, trying to get to her. But no, she came straight <laughs> over. She gave me a hug and she said, look, thanks so much for coming over and for the support. And it was, it was like, you know, you're shaking someone's hand and you're just, you're saying I'm never washing the hand again. You know, I just shook yeah. her hand. It's Katie Taylor. Like, I'm not, you know. So, um, and then a few days later, we got back and we got a phone call to say, look, if you want to meet Katie, she'll be in such a place uh, on Wednesday, I think it was. If you want to whoop, have lunch with her, meet her, she'll be delighted she wants to meet you as well. I said, oh, no problem. We went up and we sat down, we were talking away to her, we had lunch and she signed a pair of gloves for me. We got loads of pictures. But the minute, like, we, she came out, like, there was an instant, you know, friendship there. We were laughing and, and there was yeah. no, there was no, you weren't sharp for something to talk about. You were always, there was yeah. something there. So it was, and it was nice to be able to talk to someone like that. And she always said to me, she said, if there's ever anything I can do for you, don't ever hesitate to ask. Do, yeah. do it. Her, her team as well, they're lovely people. You know, she has Brian and just Tomas and they're all good people and they're all genuine people. There's no... They don't, they don't mess around. They don't mess about. You know, they just get on with things, and that's the way it is. Yeah. And um, ever since we keep in contact, like she texts me, seeing how I am sometimes, and I'd reply back. And for her to even think about me, because I know she's full time training. For someone to yeah. think about a girl back in, in Ireland in Walford, a small place, <laughs> she, she thinks about it, she thinks about me, and it's nice to know that. It has <coughs> that, and she said to me, she said, you know, in the future, if coaching is a thing that she would take me on. Because I, 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 I was so stunned when I met her. Didn't yeah. get the question. I did ask. I was kind of going <laughs> to. So I said, I'll text her now and I'll see what, um, what she'd say. And she said, no problem. If, if that is an option, which I'd say it might be. I'm not going to say, oh, she has this many years because I don't know that. Yeah. I don't. But I'd say if she if she does come out, out of boxing and coaching might be a thing. And I mean, wherever it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're winning be something and you want to, you, you, you do and you take you you know, you you just forget about all the rest and you just go for it. What yeah. you want to do your own life and if you aim at something, you do it. If you don't, you know, it's meant to be, you know, so it's it's something I'd love to do. And I mean, pro, pro being a professional for me, in the field, it, it is a, a big thing. I, that's yeah. somewhere where I want to be. Yeah. It's kind of like, I, I like to plan things. Mm. I, oh I want to go for this and as I remember the last day Natasha Jonas said make a plan have a plan and I and I, 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 I do do that like you know Yeah. so it's nice to have a plan say I'd like to be this and I'd love to do that you know so it's it's good and I have the Jumbo on me on me on my team as yeah. well he's a he's a good he's a good man you know we're, we're good friends it's good to have people like that as well you know yeah no, it's good to have a network around you, you know, even though you may not use or utilise everyone at the same time, 
to be able to pull back on experience, you know, like like Ian there, you know, he's, he's a fantastic guy, been around boxing for, for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And to have someone like Katie Taylor, who's established herself and established the women's game as it is now, is 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 a fantastic asset to have you know on as part of your team really so so that's uh very good to to move forward with yeah no it is it really is and i'm and i'm proud to you know to be boxing because some people hate the sport and some people love it and some people couldn't watch a punch being thrown and it'd be oh you know but i'd sit there and i'd watch the adrenaline of it and you just know yeah people do know the feeling of taking a punch throwing a punch yeah and, you know so there's other things and some people don't know and they and they say ah you'd be grand to get in there it's not as easy as that it's yeah. not just get in you punch the head off someone that's it it's not like you have to plan and you have to listen to your coach and you have to do what you're told yeah. and listen you have to train hard you train hard fight easy that's the way you know yeah. it is and it will always be like that for anyone mm. i know Taylor, she's just gifted the hand speed when i was watching her the other night it was unbelievable uh -huh. yeah it was just something else. And I knew into the, in 30 seconds into the first round, Katie kind of had her. And I was looking at it and I was kind of saying, well, like I thought the referee might have stopped it at some stage. Yeah. One or two. Mer Merely, she has to be down. But no, she, she, you know, she stayed on for the fight. Yeah. And I think <coughs> to, fight, to fight against someone like that, it's, it's lovely because she was so dedicated after the fight. She knew she wasn't winning. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I know, whatever her coach was saying, I don't speak Spanish, <laughs> but whatever she was saying, whatever he was saying, <clears throat> it, you knew it, it was something still like, you need to do this and you need to do that. But after yeah. the fight, I helped Katie with the belts and this, that, you know, and it was it was, it was was lovely to see something like that as well, because you don't see a lot of it in boxing. Sometimes, no. I like the quiet boxes. I don't like all that talk, you know, there's always a lot of tension before fights and weigh-ins. I don't like anything like that. I just, I mean, if 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 I was coaching people, I'd just like them to just just get in and do what they have to do. There's no, yeah. and there's no, there's no reason, <laughs> there's no reason to be angry at them or to have tension with them. There's no reason for it. It's just yeah. unless it's something a bit different then. But there's no like just get in and do it. And I, that's what I that's, I like the quiet box. Like Katie, she she's never a trash talk or whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. She's she's never done anything like that. And, that's what I like about her, and same with all different boxers or something. I just like the quite ones. Yeah, that I, I'd like. I, I'd be too. I wouldn't be any way saucy about things to people. Mm. You know, I'm. I'm happy to. If I was fight, I'd be happy to fight, and that I'd be grateful to take the fight. Yeah, you know, not to be shouting and roaring in front of thousands of people. It's. It's not. It's not something you should do sometimes. Yeah, you know, people will get. Will have a bad look on you if they just look at you in a different way to what they used to look they might look up to you all the time and then you come out like some person and that just stops you know yeah. that stops but like boxing it in itself it's it's a hard game for everyone for, yeah. for even the the elderly people who boxed years ago even if you ask them they'll they'll always tell you it's not easy yeah it never will be it's not boxing is not going to change over time it's going to stay the way it is you know you have you know you, if, you, if you have a strong punch use that strong punch you yeah. know if you don't know what's going to catch someone use it because it will get you maybe somewhere to where you need to be you might you know you might have a bad hand this hand might be good but or the other way yeah. around use that hand yeah don't ever don't ever wait for them sometimes you're better, you're better off just getting in there and yeah. trying your best with it you know so, yeah, yeah. So, That's... obviously, your your um, your dad is is from a, a like a very sporty background, and and obviously that's that's rubbed off on you to some degree. How how much of him is is he like a, the support, and, and and what does he you know have an influence on you to to really strive to move forward? My father um, played snooker for many years, and they won a lot of things. And like the, he was monster champion in in Ireland, and he was champion of the of the Ireland then as well. And I mean, you'd really want to be good to be against. Yeah. And I mean, years ago, snooker was different a bit a long time ago when he played Alex Higgins. He played them all years ago. Mm. People wouldn't believe that, but he re he did, you know. And 
to listen to him tell me the stories then about when he was on the last ball or the black, you know, the, I love listening to those stories because there's a lot of, you're only hoping that he says he gets it. And to what, you know, you'd love to just, you know, go back to that time and think and kind of put yourself in, like, there to watch it, you yeah. know. And, um, visual, you know, visualise it or whatever, you want, whatever way you want to say it. But, like, me and my dad, we're, we're like that, you know, we're very yeah. aware of it. Even though, like, you know, to be kidding each other half the time, that's normal with every father and daughter. I think, you know, that's no, there's no yeah. difference. Like, there was never any problems. And especially when my mother died, like, they, yeah. my mother married for 25 years. So it's a long time. And they were the best friends too. But, like, over the years, like, people always say, um, you know, what's it like seeing Kim, you know, getting punched in the ring and this, that, the other. And it's not easy to watch your, your, your child anyone relate to you you know get whacked around or whatever and but like he just he, he you know you, you have to keep going and he just tells me to focus and listen and I do listen yeah. I, try, I don't I know sometimes I get things wrong in boxing you're gonna get that yeah I work and he's you know he might have the pattern he'd, he'd work on it with me if my, if my coach said tells me look oh you need to like block punches better and just that we'll do it whether it's the kitchen whether it's out, out, out in the garden, wherever it is, mm. we'll, and he'd be he'd be messing around. But like, he's he's a very he's a good man, you know. There was never any problems, and we're always together. We're never yeah. not like if we weren't, it's a bit like it feels a bit weird, you know. We're always going places together, and yeah, that and he he was with me the time of the fight, the Kate Taylor fight. He was there himself, and he got to meet her then. Like, you'll never be stuck for words with my father. He's a real chatty person, like myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, we ha I ha like, I guess, like, I know a lot of people in in, in Waterford and a lot of different places from yeah. him. So I'll never be stuck. If I was ever needing anything or for the future, whether it's boxing, I know people in different places, not just Ireland, in, Ireland, in the UK, Spain, other places, and I know them. So it'll always be something that if I, I needed it, that yeah. I would get help with it you know yeah. which is good <laughs> yeah but like the, my father he still has his cue like the, the, the snooker cue that he played which from years ago it's somewhere now i'd have to go around and for it um but and he loves the, the horse the horse race and then we have our few greyhounds and he loves that. Mm. i get that out too and gets his boat out and he you know that my, my father's had greyhounds owned owned them for about 40 years wow when, Years he's owned his dogs and he's had nice dogs, good dogs, and some he but he never won a final. But he had he had good dogs and they'd win every week except the final. He had the quarter <laughs> and there would be something whatever happens, he misses the break or he goes out on the first bend, it's all over. And, yeah. You know, but it's, it's good. Like we won a few, we after winning a lot of finals. Like yeah. the fellow I like the fellow I work with has has dogs, like they bred the English Derby winner, JT Jet, and that was a big, yeah. that was a big achievement as well to, to say that you've know, bred a top class dog, um, and he's went on, he he went on to win more in Ireland, yeah. Park, and there was more things, and it it was great to see stuff like that. But like we 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 you know we're always kept going whether it's that do, it's dogs or anything or horse racing. Mm. My yeah. father up to we're great friends with Aidan O'Brien, so we always go up there. Get to see the best of horses. I mean, they have unbelievable setup. Uh, and, yeah. You know, it's just it's unbelievable what they have. You'll be thinking, I have a swim pool. This at the end for the dogs, and then you go in here, and it's like a five star hotel, and they're like for the for the horse. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> and what am I, what am I doing wrong? Like you know. Oh, that's good. It's good to have that that network around you, and obviously, you know, the the sport in you know, background that, you know, you, your family and, and everyone around you has got is fantastic. So just touching on, obviously, your team within boxing, obviously your coach, do you want to give a bit of a background on, on that and, and what you're currently working on with him? As in, like, how many people I have on my team? And yeah, how many you have on your team and, well, and what you're doing with them? Originally in the gym, like, I'll just tell you, um, there's, there's not, like, women's boxing. It's not, a, it's a big team nowadays, but, you know, over the years of Watton's. Um, so in, in total in our gym, we have, we have four girls and there's all the rest of our boys. So we try to get as, ma the amount, as many girls as we can in and try to encourage them to get into the sport. And um, we have a new professional girl in our gym, Kate. Um, she looks to be 
a nice boxer. She's she's good and she's a very nice, polite girl. You yeah. know, I don't know where she's originally from. Um, I think I I, I couldn't tell. I, I I don't know, but she's a very nice girl and easy to talk to. Somewhere, someone you'd love to see go very far in the game yeah. because, like you're, you know, she was in the amateurs, and there's a big you're you're taking a big jump from the amateurs into the pros. And even though I'm still an amateur, I see it. You know, yeah. from what I be doing in the gym. She's from Poland. I just got <laughs> Poland. Um, from what I'd see in the gym, then to what I'd see from the professional side, it's a big difference. Yeah, you just work on that more, and it's you. You, you have to be really dedicated. Even if you're dedicated now, double that again. Yeah. Oh, you have to do it more on your train twice a day, two, two or three times a day, and you just have to do it if you want to be someone like that. You have to be good, and I mean, <clears throat> in Watford, there was no professional you know girl boxer so yeah she, and it was lovely to see and doesn't like there in to in Watford there's only two or three pro coaches in boxing so yeah. there's Paul Simpson there's um Jim Payne he he coaches Joe Ward he's in the professionals too in the amateur for a long time and then he moved professional and there's uh Martin Moore he trained he's his son is Dylan Moore yeah you probably heard him. Yeah. Fighting to think it's tonight, um, and so there's like there's 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 a few around, but you want to be lucky enough to you know sometimes be able to get in with these people. And I mean, for me to work with Michael, like the way I see, you have to have a good relationship sometimes with your coach or your friendship or whatever you want to call it. You have to, like if there's a lot of tension with someone and you're training with that person, it's not the best. But like me and my coach Paul, we get along great, and we have a laugh, and that's the way you have to. You yeah. have to with these things. I know you, you, have, you always have to be serious about it, but you have to have a social life too at the same yeah. time. Even though you're only in the, am I'm in the amateurs, I still have to have, you know, a, just a, a, an easy kind of life. Like, you know, yeah. I know some people, they train in the gym, they go home, they train again. They go out for a walk, this, that, the other. And you can do that. That's completely up to yourself. Um, but sometimes, for, like, for the likes of me, I have kind of a different training training session to others. Mm -hmm. Enough to get me fit, but just a bit changed around because sometimes for what the others will be doing, I'd kind of be a bit breathless. And I wouldn't be able to go on for that hour, but like I just do what I can for the hour. And I put in a good effort still. Um, Paul, I hope Paul says the same. If, if he's still watching, I hope, mm -hmm. he's, I hope he says the same. Um, but we still have a lot, a lot to work on. And with this, with COVID as well, it's it's not easy, you know. Yeah. Because by now, there should have been so many different um, competitions, championships on. There, yeah. there are so many different ones, um, and it's it's it, it's sad in a way because it's something. So it's kind of I see a few people. It's kind of pushing them out of the game in yeah. a way, like they don't want to box. And first of all, they were all about it, and now they don't even want to get up off the chair. And you're going you had something or they were good or they are good. Yeah. It's like, that's just gone. And you, you, you'd see a lot of, you know, pro, pro, progress, progression in people. And now, like, with, with the COVID, they just don't want to do it. Yeah. Now when, sometimes you'd say, I can, I can understand where you're coming from. And other times you're like, just, just deal with it, like, and get it over and done with. You know, for the sake of an hour or a day, just get in and do it. You can yeah. go and do it, but you still could say that. Yeah, I went training for the hour. This, that, you know. So, but I was going to do like a coach's course this year for the amateurs as well. Yeah. And to help out in the gym. Um, and that got cancelled as well. You know, so like I've been in, in our, in, in our gym, I've been there um, about a year now. Yeah. I think something like that. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn back. I, I'm, I'm that, that's where I'll be, you know. Um, and I hope to go, like, I'll have my few amateur fights. I get a few under, and then I just hope to go pro after after that, you know. And I mean, I know a lot of boxing companies that will, or managers. I know a lot, I know a few around that if I need it, mm. so they're there for me. And yeah. I won't have any trouble on getting on to a fight or something like that. And I and I do try my best to try get in training and get things done and just hope that we'll sit myself and Paul will say. Well, look, you were doing your okay today, but you have to work on this bit more. And we're going to have to work on that. You kind of set out a bit of a, a bit of a list 
kind of well, yeah. it, you have things to work on. You just have to because that's the only way you, you're going to learn. Is if you, if you, you know, you have to yeah. practice and practice and practice until you get it right. And when you get it right, then you feel some way better about yourself. Yeah. Because like, negative energy. Um, you know, we said like my, my own coach, like you can't have it. If you want to be in boxing, you can't have negative energy. You no. can say, I do what I can't do it. You can't think that way. You always have to think smart and be positive about things. Say, if I keep, you know, training, I keep practicing, I'll get there. And I know if I just do things right, I'm not a, I'm not a person. I'm never out on the streets. Like, I see other people, like my age, they're not like I am. Like, I'm, I had to mature at, at a young age. Mm. When I at the age of 10 like I had to cop on really fast and know this was happening and yeah. then especially with what I have it was always people saying you know they t- they kind of mess around with you and you're going to have to take on the chin with these things people are just going to mess with you about if you have an illness or you have some deformity or, or whatever it is about you they're always going there's always going to be a smart one in it and you know say something and you just have to learn to ignore that because there's no point in arguing and then that leads to a fight and then yeah. you, you know you can't you're not supposed to do that you know in mm-hmm. box in boxing or when i was in my tight a very disciplined sport very disciplined you know if you if you do any moves out of the gym on someone you're gone and yeah. you're this and it's it, it's only fair in a way because it's not somewhere it's not unless something happened and it wasn't your fault and then you had no reason but to use it maybe you say something else but if you started it and you initiate if you kept going with it yeah, but a bit like we have no reason but to suspend you, you know. But like I love the coaching, like the, the young kids now in in the gym, like it's it's great, and you'll always you, you know I'm there now, and I'm I'll I'll see them as the years go on. Yeah, you know, grow up and see like they couldn't they couldn't tell from their left to the right to now being maybe a champion or whatever it is. Yeah, you no, know? but I always think about like the likes of Mick Conlon and Karen Frampton. They were all. In my in our shows, once you know they were all in the amateurs. Yeah, faced their first fight. They all had to, you know, train hard in the amateurs and amateur and professional. They're two different styles altogether. Hundred percent. You see the difference, and I I do say it a lot because it is, and there's no point in saying it's not. People will disagree and they say it's not. But it is. Yeah, it is a massive <laughs> jump up. Different stance altogether, whether you're left or right handed. Big. There's a just a big difference, and you're. With your shots as well, amateurs are kind of in. You know, you're you're throwing punches, and you have to be really fast with it. With it, there's no point in waiting and waiting and waiting. With professional, it's kind of a bit different. It's, you know, yeah. it may be yourself. It is people sitting and they they wait and they wait and then they'll they'll go. Do you know? Do you know? So, but it's great to that there. You know, there's women's boxing these days. It's, it's very popular. You know, and that people sometimes actually rather now look even if they're fellas, they look up to the girls and they say, "I want to be like her." They, yeah. Know, yeah, they can tell you now there's there is a few young fellas that probably want to be like Kate Taylor. <laughs> you know, hundred percent. I could say Anthony Joshua. I could say other people like that, but at the moment, Kate is just the best around. You know. Yeah. And to even say that, maybe one day I will be on. You know, I I will be training with her. That will be just the best, and I take that. I take that. Whatever you would sacrifice, I'd sacrifice anything just for it or whatever way you want yeah. to say. I just, I'd be so dedicated to be working with her, and yeah. like have a good f- f- friendship. We talk a lot, and she'd always answer back, or I'd always answer back. I would never ignore it. The minute I see her name, I go, "Oh yeah, I yeah. will." I tell later. There's no point. Yeah. And she's busy constantly. She, she's never out of the gym either. You know, she's always up on her um, Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is. And she's very dedicated, you know, she's training constantly. And I love that about people when they're training. And especially the the young professionals now. Like one young fellow, Paul McCullough, he's over in Champions Gym in Lanzarote, a very dedicated young fellow. I, I, I watch him all the time. Yeah. And I was meant to be over training back in October with Jonathan O'Brien. He was, pro- profession- he was a professional and he walked for Ireland years ago and he has his own gym over in Lanzarote and I go there every year anyway. Yeah. So I, Oh yeah, I'll get a bit of training in the profession, and that didn't happen. But I, I watch, yeah. I, I watch all his young, all his boxers, and they're, they're they're really. And he made his pro debut there a few weeks ago, and he won his fight. I think it was second or third round stoppage, wow. and it was up class. You know, he he's kind of really 
a really good performance there for and for people to watch that they look they really look up to him now and that that's that's someone to look out for you know yeah definitely yeah 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 well obviously you know we've we've got your back and obviously you know Paul Paul's there and obviously we're going to arrange something in a couple of weeks to obviously um, catch you after a training session and also catch up with Paul as well and get to know him a bit more. So that would yeah, be yeah. fantastic. Um, but obviously, you know, we'll do everything that we can do from, from our perspective to obviously support you along the way and build your profile. Um, but, yeah, wish you all the best. And uh, Have you on the team as well. It's, it's great to... Yeah. And, you know, I, I, you can tell you can tell people. Um, I, I, I make sure that I'll get you known too because that's the way it's like both ways in, 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 the, in the sense. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's great, though, to have someone on the team as well. And I know, like... With all this, I probably I I I'd love to get over and whatever, but obviously with this at the moment, there's just there's nothing you can do really. Yeah, no, well, we'll definitely we'll definitely get you over and uh, we'll see. You know what we can we can sort out. We've got a couple of gyms and a couple of coaches. We you know we're closely linked to, um. So I'm sure we can get you yeah. something sorted out when you come over. Hundred percent, that'd be great. Like. Yeah, definitely. Forward to that, like. But thanks for having me on. It was. No. I, I don't get a lot um, of people asking to <laughs> interview, interview me, so in the, especially in the amateurs. It's, but thanks very much. I do appreciate that now as well. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. That's what we're here for. And obviously, um, you know, we're right behind you and wish you all the best with your career. And we're looking forward to seeing it, you know, unfold and what it could be. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. No worries. Thank you for your time. Thanks very much. Thank all you. Best. Bye. Take care now. Bye.